anybody has an objection, I'm going to call it 7 o'clock. I have a quorum. I need a motion to accept the agenda. So, so moved. Second. Second. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. First item on the agenda is a Form A for 85 Edward Foster Road. Um, J.D. Gibbs, Ross Engineering. Here. Yes, and speak into the microphone, please. Thank you. I know you're disappointed that Paul Marabito could not be here tonight, but I'll try to explain it. Um, do you all have a copy of the plan? Yes. Okay. It's uh, 85 Edward Foster Road. Uh, owner, current owner is Patrick Doherty, and we're proposing to carve off uh, parcel one all the way on the west side of the property, uh, leaving lot one with the existing structure and a lot that meets all the zoning criteria with a little over an acre of land and 27,000 plus square feet of upland. And that's pretty much it on that one, unless you have any questions. What's the purpose of that? Or do you? <clears throat> well, he, he's, he has pot potentially somebody is interested in that piece of property. Because he's, he's selling the property, the Doherty's are moving out of, out of situate. So I guess someone would have it for <clears throat> beach access? Possibly. I mean, I mean the, the, um, the heirs who own the property directly across the street are the, the party interested in oh, okay. purchasing that from the Doherty's before they, they sell the property. They want the view. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's, it's labeled as a parcel and a non-buildable lot. Um, it's mostly wetland. Questions? No. I have none. No. Seems pretty straightforward. We have a motion. motion. Oh. <clears throat> motion here. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I know it's uh, really stressful here, but I move to endorse as approval under the subdivision control law not required a plan of land in the town of Situate, Massachusetts, 85 Edward Foster Road showing a division of parcel 51-3-3 prepared by Ross Engineering Company Incorporated for Padraic and Sharon Darity <clears throat> dated March 22, 2016. As the division of the tract of land shown on the accompanying plan is not a subdivision because the lot and parcel shown on the accompanying plan both have the frontage of at least the distance presently required by the situate zoning bylaw on the public way of Edward Foster Road and Parcel one is labeled not a buildable lot. Second. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. <clears throat> Do we need to is that how I Padraic? Yeah, I'll take yeah. it. Yeah. Padraic. It's Padraic. 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 Padraic? Padraic. Is that like a <clears throat> um, Irish name? Or? Yes. Yeah. Like Paddy? Like to pick yes. him up tomorrow, tomorrow morning. That's yeah, actually okay. Patrick spelling name. They have, a they have a close oh, coming up in the morning. Tomorrow morning's at, uh, you tell me. They have a closing, that's what they're trying to. Do we need to stamp this before we stand? Yeah, yeah just, right. Okay, great. Okay, so I'll, here's, I'll sign. Need, I need three and I'll sign them before I go home. Thank you. <clears throat> Sorry for the butchering of the name here. <laughs> The next item on the agenda is 45 Otis Place. Have you Otis Place? Yes, I am. I'm J.D. Gibbs from Ross Engineering. Again, apologize. Paul cannot be here tonight. We have um, Allison Kroll in the estate of uh, Susan Scott at 43 and 45 Otis Place, just up the street from Front Street. Um, <clears throat> it's currently two structures, one on each property. Um, and we're proposing to redivide the whole parcel into three lots. Um, if you're looking at the plan, the current lot for number 45, Otis Place, is parcel A and parcel B. Um, and then lot one, lot two, and parcel C 
are all land that belongs to number 43. Uh, so we're proposing to divide parcel B from number 45 and parcel C from number 43 and add parcel C to number 45 to create a conforming lot. It currently does not have the required frontage. Not, it doesn't need to, but we're proposing to give it the frontage to make it a, a um, conforming lot. Um, and then parcel B is added to lot one to create a conforming lot with frontage and lot area. And lot two uh, on its own is 20,083 square feet with 129 feet of frontage. Just by way of explanation, as I represent the state, Allison's mom passed away, and her land is just being divided into two lots. And Allison's, as JD said, Allison's lot house to the, to the uh, west of that doesn't have the frontage, so we're adding a strip of land to it to make her to make her yard bigger. And then they both comply with zoning. Correct. Questions? <clears throat> I wonder if this would fall into what we were discussing. Do you consider that to be a rat tail? No. So uh, <clears throat> when we're done, we will have lot one, lot two, um, and parcel A. So lot that, lot one and parcel B. So if you look at uh, right, R yes, lot one and parcel B. I understand that. And then parcel A uh, and, and parcel C, C are together. B together, correct. Okay. Now the question about parcel B, which is behind the existing dwelling, I mean, what is that right now? Is that grass? Are those tree? Is that a tree area? Or um, it is area? slightly wooded. So <clears throat> the, the you see the stone wall that runs along that yeah. southerly property line. Okay, the the Critchfield Lions who owns that property, they have cleared up to that stone wall. Um, the Crolls and uh, the Scott Estate. Uh, on the north side of that wall is not maintained. Okay. So I guess it's, <clears throat> it would be understanding of, I guess there are two existing dwellings so that they realize that uh, the, the lot one, which includes now parcel B, they're going to have to maintain that area, the 20 foot, 23 foot um, between the stone wall and the lot line. Yeah, they, they will own it. Yeah. yeah. Bit weird, but I guess it's, it's legal. Not yeah. like anything else we have in <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Straightforward. Uh, Entertain a motion? <clears throat> we do. Just, I'll, just for my own curiosity before I read, was lot two, was that where there was like something that was taken down recently? Is that the same, or am I in the same location? I there was like a house that was no. torn down on this place? No, there's a, there's a house here. Uh, Mrs. Scott's house is, is in a pretty derelict state. She's had, you know, she died suddenly, and, but she's had some problems before then. So that's something's in need of, need of major. Up the street, yeah. There's something, a project going on up the street that has a stormwater permit. Two single condos. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. Yes. Between Allen Place and Hoss. I think that's John Tedeschi, correct? That's what I'm thinking of. Yep. Okay. Thank you for that clarification. I move to endorse as approval under the subdivision control law not required a plan of land in the town of Situate, Massachusetts, 43 and 45 Otis Place, showing a division of parcels 50-5-7 and... 50-5-8, prepared by Ross Engineering Company Incorporated for Allison M. Crowell and the estate of Susan Scott, dated May 18th, 2016, as the division of the tract of land shown on the accompanying plan is not a subdivision because every lot shown on the plan has frontage of at least the distance presently required by the Situate Zoning Bylaw on the public way of Otis Place. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. We know up to 111 Adelaide Road. You want that one? No. 
Great job, Jay. Great job. <laughs> Starting to sweat a little hot up there, you know. It's really hot. We get all the way up there. <laughs> Tell Mr. Maravito we didn't miss him. He didn't hear you. Um, so my name is Steve Hassett. I'm an engineer with Morse Engineering. I'm here today representing KE Construction. I'm here to present the A and R plan uh, for 111 Hatherley Road. The property is shown as a census parcel dash one consists of 25,000 square feet. It has frontage on Hatherley Road, which is a public road, and Marion Road extension, which is a private paved road. It's within an R3 zoning district and is an existing single family dwelling shown in the plan on Hatherley Road. The deed for this property references a land court plan filed. I have it here, 1910, and the property consists of five lots that are shown as 858 through 862 on this plan, just to have an idea where we got the numbers on our plan. Um, and we're just proposing to divide the entire piece of land into two lots, and to do that we use this existing interior lot line between lots 859 and 860 on this land court plan. So that lot on that land court plan is the same line that we proposed here, dividing the two lots. And by doing this, lots 858 and 859 become one parcel, and lots 860 through 862 become another parcel. And both of these new lots um, meet the requirements for the R3 zoning district, and also the existing single family dwelling at 111 Hatherley Road meets all the setbacks requirements for the R3 zoning district. Any questions? So currently, there's there there were five. Uh, how many? Oh wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, five parcels currently. Is that correct? They're all owned by, by the one same. owner. <laughs> yeah. So the plan, the Lancor plan, divides into five lots, and they bought up five of the lots. And now they want to break it into two parcels instead of the one parcel that it currently is. And to do that, we use that interior okay. lot line that was shown on the main court plan. Okay. I'll just show you that plan so you understood the, we got those lot numbers. This is more of a question, I guess, to Bill and Pam. But because this predated, we don't have to have the, the doesn't Marion Road extension doesn't have to be a public way. Is that correct? For the frontage? I think Marion Road is a public way. No, it's it, private. It says private. private way. Extension. But it has, it has, Partially paved. Um. Yeah, if you go up further, it hooks around and becomes a gravel road. But this mm -hmm. whole first. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I've been up on this part. It is paved. It looks like a regular road. The so applicant checked that it was a way in existence prior to zoning, and that it ha it is in a 30-foot layout. It is paved, has a 4% grade and the pavement width is about 21 to 22 feet. Mm -hmm. So back in 1984, the planning board made them put in that pavement up to lot, is it 850 or 950, that was several of these lots up the road so that it would have adequate width grading construction. Could you just flip that again, please? And where are those lots on this? Right here in right the here. blue. Right, yeah. Okay, and so their frontage is on Marion Road, yeah, right? Hatherly, yeah. And Hatherley. So, in point of fact, well, the corner lot it does, but I'm just I, I'm not. No, it does. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, this this goes back to Gould, you know, Goulston and way back when when there was a gazillion little five thousand square foot lots mm -hmm. that could be uh, built on or whatever because they predate zoning. Okay, well, that's what I thought. I just wanted to clarify. Yeah. It's fine. No further questions. All right. Okay. You questions? No. Okay. Oh. <laughs>
I move to endorse as approval under the subdivision control law not required a plan of land in the town of Situate, Massachusetts, 43 and 45 Otis Place, showing a division. Oh, wait, that's wrong. <laughs> wait, oh, I am sorry. Strike that. I never said that. <laughs> I booked up the wrong motion. I move to endorse <clears throat> as approval under the subdivision control law not required a plan of land in Situate, Massachusetts, showing a division of parcel 39-6-1, 111 Hatherley Road, prepared by Morse Engineering Company Incorporated for applicant K and E construction <clears throat> and owners Joseph Pepe, uh, Lestina and Susan Kubek, dated uh, 5 17 2016. As the division of the tract of land shown on the accompanying plan is not a subdivision because the new buildable lot on the private Marion Road extension will have 100 feet of frontage on the way and has a uh, bituminous uh, concrete pavement way within a 30 foot layout with a width of a width of approximately 21 feet and a grade of approximately 4% along the property which is similar to many roads in the area. Second. Aye. Thank you very much. You got it. The shoe about to fall, Mr. Pajoklin? Uh, no, you can adjourn for it. I believe that's, well, old business, new business. Or do we have any expense yeah. reports or anything? Well, Bob, Bob is not here. We do have a motion from him. So <laughs> moved to adjourn. <laughs> I have a second. Uh, second that. All those in favor? Aye. We are adjourned. Oh,